Ow! 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 Oh, shit. This is so messed up. I have a bad feeling about this. This is bad. Come on, let's go. We'll find another way.
Anything out there? No, it's quiet. Never thought I'd miss all the noise. We should be good to go when you're ready. Or we could stay here. We can't stay here. We gotta keep moving. This isn't our home anymore. Hey. Mom would be proud of you. The way you've handled things. Ready to go, kiddo? Dad! You scared him. He was right there. You should have seen him. Really? I'm sorry. But it's time to go. We have a long walk ahead of us. Dad? Yes? What about Mom? Do you think she's safe? And why are all those people hurting each other? I'm sure she's fine. Your mom can look after herself. Everything's gonna be okay. I won't let anything happen to you, okay? We both have to be strong. Can you be strong for me? <laughs> Whoa there, that's a little too strong. You don't want to hurt your dear old man, do you?
do you think? Anybody could be inside there. Not sure, but we do need supplies. Maybe even a map. Not sure if traveling by the roads is the safest way. Okay, stay close. We don't want to cause any unwanted attention. We need to take this slow. Well, I say it's a good thing we hadn't seen any zombies for a while. Thought they would have been all over this place by now. So that's what you're calling them, eh? Well, of course. What else are they? It's like they are some crazy video game or some shit. Okay, look, just hurry up. We don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah, yeah, okay. Huh. I mean, some folk call them walking dead, roamers, heck, even biters. I guess if it was politically correct, we'd have to call them living impaired. <laughs> Imagine that. What a load of horse shit that would be. Oh, oh, God. Oh, this board is on here really tight. I think we're going to need a crowbar. Oh, shit. Who in the hell are you? What are you doing here? Whoa, whoa, please. We're not here to cause you any problems. I have a young daughter here. My name's Taylor, and this is my brother, Jesse. This is Emily, my daughter. We were looking for supplies. Just thought we'd check the gas station. We can be on our way. Please, put the gun down. Dad! What is it, Lanisha? I found these folks out here trying to get into the store. Dad, it's okay. Put your gun down. Look at them. Do you really think they'd hurt anybody? They have a young daughter. Yes, so? How do you even know the girl's even theirs? Dad! I'll be watching you. You cause any troubles, and we'll be having ourselves a little chat. You got that? Sorry, my dad can be a little over the top. I guess it's a good thing with all these zombies walking around. <laughs> See? I told you they was called zombies. It's been a crazy couple of days. We were with a group of people. They're hiding out in the main garage just over there. It's okay, you're safe with me, sweetheart. My name's Lanisha. Hi, my name's Emily. We should go back inside. Report back in. The others will be here soon. Besides, no point just standing out here. Yeah. If you want to leave, then we might have a few supplies that you can have. But you're welcome to stay with us. Thank you. That'll be great. Well, it looks like they're having a party. Hope they have cake. I love cake. We've been resting here for a couple of days. It's not ideal, but at least it's inside and away from the... well... I'm gonna need to take your weapon. Now don't get nervous. We'll give it back when you want to leave. We just don't want anybody being scared by guns waving around. So where did you find all these people? Yeah, and some look really sick. They're not infected, are they? No, no, they aren't. They're mostly tired and, and dehydrated. Most of these folks, they haven't slept since the outbreak. They've lost loved ones. Some are confused. Their whole world has been turned upside down. Were there a lot of them out there? No, we mainly traveled during the day, kept clear of places where there might have been a lot of the dead, you know, tried to play it safe. Always kept ahead of the herd. Well, you've made it here. 
We're moving on in a couple of days, and you're welcome to come with us. It'll be good to have a few more helping hands. Come on, I'll introduce you to the others. We need to head back to the city. Stock up on ammo. Take back control. Wait for the army to come and destroy this plague of the undead. You know how crazy that sounds. There's no way we can go back. Look at all these people. They don't have the strength. They need rest. I'm just saying, all of our problems can be fixed by heading back to the city. No, that's not a good idea. We're safe here, for now. Coach, we have a problem. They're coming in from all directions. We got uh, maybe five minutes before they arrive. What kind of numbers are we looking at? There's too many. We tried to divert them, but barely escaped our sails. We can't stay here. It's just not safe. Lunisha, when can you have everything packed up and ready to go? Dad? Just tell me! If this flood of zombies is as big as they say it is, we can't stay here. We have to leave. Um... I don't know. If we need to leave, then we'll be ready. We really need to leave. Okay, everyone, listen up. We can't stay here any longer. We all knew this time would come. We'd have hoped it would have been longer. It's just not gonna be the way. I need all of you to pack up and be ready to leave when this flood arrives. I'll hold them off for as long as I can and meet up with y'all real soon. Lanisha, I need you to take good care of these people. Stay safe and look after one another. Okay, let's do this! This is really the only option? Promise me, if it gets bad out there, I want you- Dad. Just listen. You get the hell out of here and take these folks with you. They trust you. They'll need you. If it gets bad, you don't worry about this old dog, okay? Okay, just don't let it get to that.
Thank you for looking after her. I appreciate it. Oh, it's fine. No trouble at all. How is everyone? Oh, and where's Coach? Coach stayed behind. He, he didn't make it. We were overrun. So many of them. We had to, we had to retreat. If you'll excuse me. Oh, Dad. Why? Um, do you need anything? I mean, uh, I'm, I'm here to help. You just ask, okay? We're in this together. It's okay. Thank you. Well, what are we going to do now? We simply can't stay here. We need to head back to the city. Like I've been saying all this time. They are migrating out from the city, searching for food, devouring all. The city will be free of those undead creatures, those locusts, hungry for human flesh. You don't know that for sure. We should all continue to the docks. It'll be safe there. My father knew that this was the best option. We all heard the radio broadcast about the spare boats being stationed there. That's the only chance we have of getting far away from here. We keep ahead of the horde. But that radio broadcast was days ago. How do we know the boats are still there? We don't. But it's better than going back to the city, ain't it? I'm sorry, but I have children here. We're not going to the docks. We simply can't take that chance. Yes. And the docks are still two days away. We don't know what's up ahead. And that's why I'm going back to the city. We get to a high rise, board it up, and wait for the army to come and save us. I bet the government and the CDC are working on the cure right now. This is a bad idea, but I can't make you stay. It's your choice, your funeral. How many guns and ammo do we have? Well, we got some rifles and pistols and shotguns, some flares and even some grenades too. It ain't much, but at least it's something. Yeah, just as long as they don't encounter another flood like before. Okay, give them what they need. Give them the flare as well, just in case. I mean, they may need help, so at least they have it. All right, everyone. It's your choice. If we leave, we leave in five minutes. Like I said, it's your choice. Emily and I, we're going to go with them back to the city. Huh. What? Are you crazy? We should stick together. Then come with us. No, it's, it's too dangerous. You'd be heading back towards them. Are you fucking out of your mind? It's going to be fine. We'll have guns in case things get out of control, and the city will be less filled by then. In two days, we'll signal you, you know, to show that we're safe in the city. And then what? Think this will all blow over in a few days? Probably not. But I have to think of what's best. This is a good and safe plan. I'm sure we'll see each other in a month or two. Okay? Don't worry. I'll personally signal you once we get to the city. We leave now for the city! Never be it for anything Never shame, but never free A life that healed the broken heart With all that it gave Lived the life so endlessly Saw beyond what others see I tried to heal your broken heart With all that I could Will you stay? Will you stay away forever? How do I live? The ones I love Time still turns the pages of the book gets burned Place and time always on my mind I have so much to say but you're so far away Lands of what our futures hold Foolish lies of growing old Seems we're so invincible The truth is so cold A final 
song, the last request A perfect chapter laid to rest Now and then I try to find A place in my mind Where you can stay You can stay awake forever How do I live without the ones I love? Time still turns the pages of the book It's burned I'm going to head back to the city. Wait, what, uh, what about... I have to. I have to know what happened. I'll come along. There's a car over there with just enough gas for the trip. We'll be back before you know it, and... <laughs> Besides, you guys could use your beauty sleep. <laughs> it's okay. People need their rest. We'll be back in a day. If not... 
Then leave without us. Okay, you guys had better bring your butts back alive or I'm gonna kick what's left of them, okay?
Hey, you okay? Yeah, fine. Just seeing them there, being able to do anything. Maybe I should have gone with them. Hey, you can't think like that. Things are really messed up. You can't dwell on that now. I know it ain't easy, but we can do this. You're right. Thanks. What about you? How are you coping with it? Sorry. You know what? <laughs> it's okay. It really is. Things happen, and I can't change that. We have to believe that there's still some light in all this darkness. It's funny, but I've been having these dreams. <laughs> there's four of us, and we're fighting against those things, though they're much quicker. Worst part is, I don't feel like I'm in control either. Then I wake up, and it's real. <laughs> uh. Hey! We're here! What is it? Whoa, now we're talking. Okay, take what you can carry and let's get to the boat. Ugh, I love the goddamn Mare. hoo -ah! Well, what did you see? Well, it ain't pretty. Not going to be easy. The whole area is filled with those goddamn things. It's a good thing we found those weapons, so we're really gonna need them. And the boat? Yep, there's a spare one. Big one, too. Good. Okay, listen up. Our boat is just at the end of the docks. Between us and our ticket off this shithole are those things. We need to all work together on this. I want everyone to take a weapon and use it. Not only your lives depend on it, but so do your friends, your loved ones, your family. You stick together and let's kill these zombie freaks. Come on! Okay, when you're ready, make your way over there. Let's do this! Well, I guess we better get started then. Remember guys, headshots. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's kill these sons of bitches.
Now that's how you do it! <laughs> Oh yes, let's get to that boat. It's just over there. I hope you can steer this thing, old man. Huh. Let's just say I had experiences with ships like this before. Good, cause I ain't swimming. Alright, let's go. Save me now. 
Sent out the SOS call It was a quarter past four in the morning The storm broke our second anchor line Four months at sea For months of calm seas to be pounded In the shallows off the tip of Montauk Point Calm roads, they travel fast and alone One hundred foot faces of God's good ocean gone wrong What they call love is a risk To always get hit out of nowhere By some wave and end up on your own A hole in the hull to fire the crew's attempt To bail us out But it flooded the engines and radio Half buried bow Tongue is a rudder, steers the whole ship, sends your words past your lips, keeps them safe behind your teeth. But the wrong words will strand you, come off course while you sleep, sweep your boat out to sea, or dash to bits on the reef. Vessel groans, the ocean pressures its frame To the port I see the lighthouse Through the sleet and the rain And I wish for one more day To give my love and repay debts and the morning finds our bodies Washed up thirty miles west They say that the captain stays fast with the ship Through still and storm But this ain't the Dakota and the water's cold Won't have to fight for long 